हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सेकंड न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ कैम्बर क्वेश्चन इज गिवन एज इन अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड व्हेन द रेनफॉल इज हैवी मेजर डिस्ट्रिक्ट रोड ऑफ वाटर बाउंड मेकेडम पेवमेंट 3.8 मीटर वाइड एंड स्टेट हाईवे ऑफ बिटुमिनस कॉन्क्रीट पेवमेंट 7 मीटर वाइड आर टू बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड What should be the height of crown with respect to the edges in these two cases? That is, for heavy rainfall area for major district road of water bound macadam, and for state highway of bituminous concrete pavement in heavy rainfall area, we have to determine the height of the crown with respect to the edges in these two cases. The shape of the cross section is given in the figure below. That is the straight line camber which is shown here now we know that for straight line camber the equation of camber is y equals to w upon 2n now for water bound macadam in case of heavy rainfall area the slope is generally equals to 3% so we can determine the value of 1 by n as 3 by 100 on putting the value of 1 by n as 3 by 100 and width of pavement is given as 3.8 meter the value of y will be equals to 3.8 into 3 upon 2 into 100 on solving this we will get the value of y as 0.057 meter that will be the height of the crown of straight line camber in case of water bound macadam in heavy rainfall area of major district road now we can move to the next case that is for bituminous concrete pavement in heavy rainfall area now for bituminous concrete pavement we know that the camber is equals to 2% so we can write it as 2 by 100 that will be equals to 1 by 50 now we have the equation of straight line camber which will be equals to w upon 2n now in case of bituminous concrete pavement width is given as 7 meter so we will put it as 7 divided by 2 and the value of 1 by n is equals to 1 by 50 so we will put here 50 on solving this we will get the value as 0.07 meter that will be the height of crown in case of bituminous concrete pavement in heavy rainfall area that is all about this numerical thank you very much students